guys, Dr. Stephanie Shuttler here. Today I am talking about what wildlife biologists do on a daily basis. My channel is about empowering scientists by giving them career advice and inspiring you to conserve the natural world. So what do wildlife biologists do every single day? Well, the answer is there is no good answer. <laughs> it varies a lot day to day. Um, but in general, if you go back to video one, wildlife biologists study wildlife using the scientific method. So this means that they ask questions, they collect data to answer those questions, they analyze the results and present them in some form. So this is usually um, in the form of peer reviewed publications or in the case of um, government or nonprofit, this might be uh, more of a technical report. So as a wildlife biologist, it also depends on what level of your experience and um, your degree is at. So if you have a degree, a bachelor's degree, um, you're going to be doing more things like um, field work and data entry. If you have a master's degree, um, you're more likely to be doing field work, but probably less field work than a bachelor's degree and um, doing research independently, but under the advisement of um, a director or a lead principal investigator. And then as a PhD, you are actually not going to be in the field that much because you are at that point managing people. So if you're a professor, that means you are managing students and mentoring students. If you work in the government, you are probably, or, or an NGO, you are probably managing a team of scientists underneath you because you have expertise in analyzing data and writing up data and you are the big picture, big vision person you are not gonna be going to the field as much to collect data. That's something you can train technicians to do and they're gonna be the ones doing it. So lots of people write to me telling me that they want to ditch their office job and become a wildlife biologist. And I largely have an office job. If you graduate with a PhD, you're honestly in the office a lot. Um, so if you Google wildlife biologists, you'll see pictures of wildlife biologists in the field, touching animals and stuff. Um, and some of that is true. Um, so you do have to, a lot of wildlife biologists track animals. So they anesthetize them temporarily and put trackers on them. But usually this is a really small portion of the job. Most of the job is analyzing data and writing up results. And this is also going to vary a lot at, depending on what institution you work at. NGOs are usually conservation based, so your research is going to be more conservation um, focused. You might be doing some more policy types of things like working with government officials. At the government, um, you, at the state level, you're going to be doing much more like management of wildlife, so um, like setting bag limits. Your focus is going to be on game species. If you work at a museum, zoo, or aquarium, your day-to-day -day activities might involve um, public outreach, giving talks, uh, visiting classrooms. It, it, just, it just varies a lot, but the, the main responsibility of a wildlife biologist is science. I am going to put a plug in again for this book, and the link is below on my YouTube. Um, this is a really great book that details what wildlife biologists and, and careers tangential to wildlife biology do in the different roles in the different workplaces that they work for. So government, um, zoos, tribal nations, all of those. And I'm writing a book too about my experiences in wildlife biology. Since 2003, I have been in this field and I've worked at um, the bachelor's level. I haven't worked at the master's level because I jumped straight to my PhD, um, but I've worked at the PhD level and I've been on the job market. So I'm gonna give you through this book a lot of advice and some of the things I wish I would have done, some of the things I didn't know about. Um, so if you wanna get on my list for my book, just subscribe on fancyscientist.com. Um, you can also subscribe to this channel where I give away a lot of tips about becoming a successful wildlife biologist. And if you liked it, please share it and thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or you can email them to me through my website and I'm always happy to answer them. Bye.